Hello and welcome to Bridget's How To's. Today's segment, we're going to be teaching you how to make a simple jump rope. Today, I'm going to be joined by my lovely assistant, Ava. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Good. Okay. Ready to make some jump ropes? Yes. All right, so today, before we get started, I'm going to tell you the, the materials that you're going to need. You will need a pair of scissors, Ava, grab yours, that are sharp enough to cut through material. You're going to need some old t-shirts, okay, and I'm going to show you how to cut them into this, these strips, but you need old t-shirts, um, and you need a chair or something that has um, stability that you can use to braid. You will also need the ability to do a simple braid. You got that? Mm -hmm. Check. We're good to go. All right. Um, we are going to be making these jump ropes, so you can make them for any reason. You can make them for yourself, for your children. Um, it's a great activity for your kids to do with you, right? Mm -hmm. So you can make them for a variety of reasons. The reason that we make ours is for what? Operation Christmas Child. Absolutely. We are going to pack shoe boxes with our church at some point this year. We always do that. And these are really good, uh, cheap alternative. Um, to toys, um, which you can put any type of toys and books in there. Um, we love this ministry because not only does it share uh, things with children around the world in every tribe, every nation, every tongue, all types of cultures, but it also shares the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that is, uh, that is what our main focus is always about. And so we love that ministry. And Wendy Powell is our representative in our area. And she could probably tell you a little more about some of the statistics and things like that and how it's done and how you can be involved with that ministry as well. But today we're gonna make these jump ropes. So we've made a few of them for you. Abel, you wanna show them the one you made? Okay, so this one's a small jump rope for a smaller child, and she took, um, what is it, nine different colors mm -hmm. and sort of joined them together. Okay, we've got this jump rope, which is also for a smaller child. It's just monochrome. Okay, it's one, one color there. And then I made this one earlier today, um, and it's a little bit longer for someone about my height, um, so for older children as well. Okay, so we're going to be showing you how to make these today. All right, the first thing I suggest that you do is go through your clothes and get t-shirts that maybe are not worth passing down to someone else. And we have tons of t-shirts at our house, right? In every sort of shape and color. And um, we usually pass those on to other people, but a lot of these were just sort of older and maybe had a few stains here and there that weren't quite noticeable, but not something we really wanted to, to pass on. And so we thought, what a great opportunity to be able to use this time in quarantine to get some jump ropes ready, mm -hmm. okay? All right, so the first thing that we did, we made these strips, and I suggest you go ahead and do that before you start making um, the jump ropes. Go ahead and get the, the pre-planning done, okay? so. There's you a t-shirt. There's a t-shirt. Thank you. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to take our t-shirts and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut off underneath the arm, okay? Underneath that area. We're only gonna use that part down. So that's what we're gonna do first. Go ahead and cut it off from right up under the arm of the shirt. All right, good. And we're gonna discard that, poof. <laughs> now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the bottom off, the hem of the shirt. We don't need that, and it's just gonna cause us problems, so we're gonna cut that off. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut right at the top of the hem there. That happens every now and then, just make sure you have both sides. And notice that we are keeping the, the shirt whole, okay? 
meaning it should have both sides to it. We're not cutting up the side, we're not, so it'll be like this, okay? See, it's still there, all right? We're gonna keep it like that. <laughs> all right. Now what we're going to do, and this is going to take the most amount of time, that's why I'm saying go ahead and do your prep work first. Go ahead and get all of your strips cut. And what we've got is we took each shirt and we stripped it up um, with Daniel's help, and because he's the one who taught us how to do this, and we laid them out so that we could see the colors better. But really, if you don't have a place to do that, you could put it in a tub and then you could pull out the different colors as you as you wanted to do it. There's no certain way, but this is just a nice organized way of making sure we get the right colors and the right amount. But before I started making jump ropes, I'm gonna strip it up like that, okay? All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna strip through the shirt and just show you, and then we're gonna get started making one. So you're just gonna cut it. And you're gonna keep doing that until you get the whole shirt in these strips like this. And it's gonna see, it stays in the circle. cut okay you're gonna take those each of those and you're gonna stretch them okay stretch them out <laughs> Let it <come> off. <laughs> okay nice round like that you do that to all of them it kind of prepares them now you don't have to do that to all the ones you're making up in advance just get them cut and then as you're ready to do uh, the braiding then you would pull them and get them ready. All right, so now it's time to go ahead and get started making your jump ropes. What you're gonna do is you're gonna choose the colors that you want. You're gonna need three strips to begin with, okay? But then to make it longer, you're going to have to have them in, in in counts of three, okay? Um, the jump rope that I made that was longer for a, a bigger child or a taller child, that took four sets of three. <laughs> this one took four sets of three. The other two, the smaller ones for smaller children, was three sets of three, okay? All right, and then you can also make it like a double dutch one where it would be really long and you would just need to kind of keep adding to it and we'll show you how to how to add it to the ropes, to the sections, and you can do that for as short or as long as you want the jump rope to be. All right, so we're gonna choose our colors. I'm gonna use this one, and I think I'm gonna use yours. Can I use yours? Mm -hmm. Okay, because I think that would be a good color. And let's see, see that would use me on the Okay, what each color? Okay. Okay. All right, but once you get that, and she'll keep going while well, we'll meet up in the middle. Once you do that, you get your set of three, okay? And you want to tie the end of it, okay? You want to leave a little bit at the end, about that much, because that's going to be the handle that they'll use on the jump rope. All right, then 
Hang it on the back of your chair with your loop here because that gives you some stability in a way that you're able to, to braid without having to hold it. All right, so then you're going to take your three colors here and you are going to braid them together. to as you can see this is braided as far as I can really get with that it's not long enough for a jump okay so you're gonna get another set of three each of your different colors again and you're gonna loop them together to make this longer so you can keep going with it so you take your t-shirt strip and you put it through the loop and then you go through there and pull okay and then you tighten that knot up Get it as small and as tight as you can so that it doesn't interrupt the flow. Okay? And you're gonna do that with all three of your colors. So as Ava's finishing up the end of her braid, I just finished mine. Um, as you can see, there are a little bit different lengths here. That's okay. You're going to have that. And sometimes you might need to add one, uh, one color and not the other two in order to get it long enough to, to match up. So, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to end your jump rope. So you're going to do the same thing that you did the first time. You're going to have enough on the end for a handle. Okay, but you're gonna, at the end of that braid, you're gonna go ahead and you're going to tie it. So you take all three of your strips there. And Ava's gonna do hers the same way as soon as she gets finished. She's almost there. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Hold on, there we go. All right, and so I'm gonna tie it and tight. All right. Then I'm going to cut off and make it even. So I'm going to cut it to the smallest one, which is this gray one. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is they're in loops. So I'm going to take that and cut the loop. And then I'm going to take the beginning of my jump rope. Do the same okay so that it makes a little tassel at the end um, I like mine to kind of yeah those are about the same so this would be a smaller jump rope for a smaller child so that is how you make a jump rope we are going to have the information at the bottom of the screen for you to friend Samaritan's Purse on Facebook and uh, put some of that information for you about who you might want to contact if you want to be part of this ministry. All right, Abe. Good job. See you next time. So you can make them for any reason, um, but we are going to be making them for what, Ava? <laughs> to braid it. Ew, this is pretty. <laughs> well, you said ew. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not usually an orange chick, but... Well, no, because you're not orange. <laughs>